Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekend love readings for the 27th to the 29th of September. Please remember to like and subscribe if you find the messages resonate with you. Also remember I do a bonus reading for the sign that has the most likes on their weekend read. So don't forget to like this video if you want a bonus read. The bonus read does a love reading and a who's coming towards you read as well. I think Pisces just missed out last weekend so you guys are so so close. Let's get started though with your love messages. Temperance coming out, okay? So kind of getting back to the balance by the look of things, Pisces, which is good. Okay, love messages for Pisces, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you have been tired. Something is making you spiritually tired. Um. Yeah, and you're ready to move forward now. You've been spending some time trying to get that balance right by the look of things. And now you're like, okay, I'm healed. I've got my mojo back. I'm good again now. What does that mean though? Yep. It means that you are kind of getting that peace of mind again. Like you're actually sleeping at night again, which is amazing. You're not you're releasing that anxiety that you've been in. Um, the last full moon in Pisces was a full harvest moon in Pisces. I swear to God, it knocked my socks off. Like, my anxiety was through the roof. So if you've been feeling the same way, that is normal. Um, it was a tough one, a tough one. You may have mm, avoided a tower by whatever it is that you're restoring balance from which is the universe's way of saying, you know what, thanks for putting yourself back on the path because otherwise I was going to have to do it for you and that's never as nice when I have to do it for you. But let's make sure we've got it right. Uh, what is... What are we restoring balance from? What's a temperance card? Could have been dealing with an, um, a Sagittarius, sorry, an illicit Aquarius. Um, we've got a Cancer here as well, so that could be happening... Okay, yeah, but it looks like there may have been an air sign. Um, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I always forget. Um, could have been an air sign that kind of destabilized you or came in and cut you a little bit, like cut you deep with something, some information. They might have come back from the past, I'm feeling. Um, but they they kind of just rocked you a little bit. Um and this is what's given you this tired, like, exhaustion from battle feeling. Yep. But what you did was you actually realized that, you know what, I'm the magician in this story. You don't get to puppeteer me. I actually make the rules in my own life. And I think that you actually stood up to them um, for the first time ever. So that's what restored the balance. So they not they tipped you and then you went, hang on, I'm going to correct this. And you restored your balance by just realizing that you are magic, basically. What's the nine of um, wands in reverse for? I think, though, that while you that was what you did outwardly, it inwardly, it still, um, it took a little longer to get that happening. Yeah, there was some confusion for a period of time. So you definitely didn't kind of know what to do. Although you were, you were standing up to them on the outside, there was a moment of, is this the right thing to be doing? Um, but you've decided you are moving forward with that now, which is amazing. What are, what's the chariot? Where are we moving to? Where are we heading to? Oh, good. Yeah, so you're moving forward, connecting with your higher self. That is actually what's been made you so resilient in this instance because you've been practicing all of that inner work all of that intuition you have that connection with your higher self now so when this when this comes in to destabilize you you're much it's much easier for you to correct much quicker so you're able to move on reasonably quickly because you've connected with that intuition and you're learning how to trust your intuition again which is actually amazing most powerful thing you have 
Okay, so let's talk about the tower. Why is the tower in reverse? I think I think this was actually a little bit of a test, this person coming back. Um, <laughs> sometimes the universe likes to go, hmm, let's send this person back and see if, if they're still dumb. <laughs> and you prove to the universe, no, 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 I'm really done with this person. And that's what's meant no tower, um, which is good. You could be also just burying your head a little bit as well and just trying to pretend like you're more over this than what you are. So just be cautious of that. What's the tower, please? Reverse. What's the tower reverse? Yep. So the tower in reverse, this is your test. The person came out of the cold for whatever reason. Um, but because you actually stood up to them, that's why the tower stayed in reverse, okay? That doesn't mean they're not going to come back again. Um, it's The tower hasn't gone. It's just kind of sitting there in reverse. So you might have actually delayed a bit of a showdown that you need to have with this person to clear that karmic energy a little bit. Um, but for the moment, it does look like that was the reason the tower is still in reverse. Do we want to take another card for that? Have you got anything else for us? Right, no. Two more shuffles. No. No, nothing else. Okay, let's. Oh, okay. Yes, something else. Okay, yep. So uh, I just got those two on the very last bit come out. <laughs> Nearly missed it. Yeah, so it's signifying that you, you, you indicated very clearly that you don't want to work on this anymore. That what they did wasn't fair. And all that this situation wasn't fair, how they behaved wasn't fair. Something in this situation wasn't fair. So all of those things have what has kept the tower in reverse and stopped it from coming out as a full tower. Good work, Pisces. All around this, all around this, this intuition. You trusted your intuition here. All right, how's Pisces feeling about all of this this weekend, please? I think it exhausted you. Like it took you a lot to say no to this person, Pisces. Yeah, you're kind of feeling a little bit, um, how do I explain that? Let's take another one that might help me. But yeah, okay. You're being too hard on yourself, basically. So although you are, you've moved forward, you've trusted your intuition, that sort of thing, there's still elements of this that you're blaming yourself for. Do not blame yourself. You're being too hard on, like you're being too harsh with yourself and your, and your thoughts and feelings they're, they're keeping you prisoner um you're being too fixed like you need to open your mind and see the situation more broadly is what i'm getting there all right let's see uh let's see what's going on with this sword to see if they're going to come flying back in again anything for the sword please the king of sword in reverse uh -huh. Oh, yes. So all that's happened here is this is not done. I'm sorry. Um, you've got death in reverse. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with as well. Um, but all you've done is kind of sent them packing for a little while. They're probably going to be come back and you're going to need to be prepared for that. Okay. So don't be fooled. Just because they've gone quiet doesn't mean they've gone away. I'm sorry to tell you that. Yeah, so be on the be on the lookout. They're they're preparing. They're getting ready to defend and battle. Okay, so uh, and it may be that that is something that needs to happen. What's the most likely outcome this weekend, though, for my Pisces people? Oh, Pisces, why can't everyone just be nice to us? Okay. So no offers this weekend. You're not offering anything to anyone. Um, they're not offering to you, which is probably not a terrible thing. Um, oh, you will be having some contact with someone. Now, is this this sword coming back on in? Um, no, this is a new sword. This is a new person. Sorry, I was just not sure if um, this was the same energy. So you do have the Knight of Swords coming in. Now, I'm getting a really positive vibe from this. This is not that person. So this is someone that's coming in to basically sweep you off your feet um, 
and it's happening kind of quickly. He's not holding back, but he's not rushing in. So you might just meet this person this weekend or you might start talking to them this weekend, maybe on social media or dating sites or something. But this is a new energy, new sword energy. Wow. And you got the Hierophant. So this could be someone that actually leads to a relationship. Okay. But, but the offer is not happening this weekend. So that's just going to be delayed. Um, but they're definitely coming in with communication. So you, I think it's someone new. I'm feeling like it's someone completely new. Um, and yeah, this, this could definitely be leading to something really serious. Uh, the Ace of Wands just flipped over too. So you could be dealing with another air sign or um, a, a fire sign, um, Pisces. So, and I know that you're not an air sign, you're being another air sign to this guy. Okay, uh, let's get you some advice on what you should be doing this weekend about this situation. What advice is there for Pisces for this situation this weekend, please? Five of Swords. Okay. So that's kind of telling me that this you have won this battle, but not the war yet. So this is going to come back around. Spirit is saying, don't don't think, because this person's going to come out of nowhere, don't wear and blindside you, potentially. So be prepared. Don't let them charm you into submission, um, or make or guilt you into submission up here. Have your wits about you. Swords are mental as well. So. Um, so have your mind straight. Have your wits about you. Like I literally mean that with that card. Princess of Cups. Um, okay, interesting. That's really interesting because you've got... I think what we're getting here is don't rush into whatever this is. Um, don't... Because this is in reverse, Princess of Cups. So I just realized you can't see it because of the glare, sorry. Um, so just... Be cautious, take your time. Although this person might be sweeping you off your feet, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to move at a million miles an hour. So take your time, be considered. Don't just give that cup away to anyone that'll take it. And then you've got the Prince's Sword in reverse because could be saying two things. Could be saying if you withhold that cup, this Prince of Sword is going to maybe withdraw. Or if you... Um, offer too much to him he will also withdraw so you're going to have to find a balance just go at your own pace don't don't rush at anyone else's pace is what that says to me okay all right let's do romance angel romance angel advice for pisces in this situation please Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And that's what this is. Um, this king of pentacles in reverse is. So it could be just a good idea to, you know, spend some time on your own this weekend, Pisces. Just do your own thing. Um, do some meditation. Just prepare yourself for this. This person has not gone away. So, and I think that it is a mental battle for you to say no to them, which is fine. But you need to be really strong mentally in your convictions to stop that from happening okay all right thank you so much pisces uh don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video so that you can get the bonus read for next week also leave me a comment let me know what's happening here thanks guys have a good weekend and i'll talk to you for the weeklies bye